Skull signs are objects found throughout Mario Odyssey that are often displayed to depict dangerous areas such as sinking quicksand or deadly poison. Being the rebels we are, we can break these signs, but Nintendo being a proponent of a safe and healthy lifestyle responds them quickly. If we're in the way of a sign when it respawns, the game will attempt to push us aside, which is pretty normal. The cool thing about this is we can take advantage of it to clip under Sand Kingdom on any version of the game. Before we start, I'd like to give a shout out to Daldot on Twitter for finding the glitch. For this clip to be possible, only a couple conditions need to be met, and if they are met, it's pretty easy to get. All we need is a breakable skull sign that's in sinking sand. This narrows down our clipping possibilities to two locations in Sand Kingdom that I'll be going over now. First, what we're going to do is head to the front of Tostarina Ruins in Sand Kingdom. Here we'll find a cannon that shoots out bullet bills. This cannon is just barely above the height of two nearby signs. Fortunately for us, the first sign is near a wall, and we can explode the bullet bill on that wall to break the sign. From here, we need to quickly drop down and start sinking in the sand, centering Mario in the middle of the pole. If done properly, the sign will quickly respawn and push Mario below the sand and under the map. Unfortunately, we'll quickly hit a death barrier, but that won't stop us from getting some cool views beforehand. I did mention that we can do this in two locations earlier, and it actually turns out we can break the other nearby sign as well. There are two options here. We can place the Goomba on top of the sign and let the bullet bill hit the Goomba. or have the bullet bill hit Mario while he is standing on the sign. Either way works, but I found that it's easier to just use Mario. So now once we've broken the sign, we can do the same as before. With proper execution, we'll clip below the map and fall out of bounds once again. The cool thing about clipping out of bounds here is there's actually a bit more we can do. With a well-timed cap throw, we can cap bounce under some invisible walls and reach a nearby ledge out of bounds. Reaching this ledge is actually relatively tricky because a lot of nearby collision extends down below the map, making it easy to bonk. Fortunately, once we've made it, we're free to explore a bit and make some interesting observations. The first thing is, under the wall controlled by the nearby lever, there's a series of invisible boxes you can get stuck in. These seem to be a placeholder for the wall if you haven't pulled the lever as the wall blocks off the boxes if pulled. With some more exploration, we can also see the quicksand extends out of bounds in some locations. Like most out of bounds, navigation can be a bit tricky because of the camera, and lots of walls are one-sided, making it easy to get trapped out of certain areas. Other than that, there's nothing really too unexpected. And that's all you need to know about skull sign clipping. Have any questions? Just leave a comment and I'll try to answer. Thanks again for watching, if you enjoyed feel free to like and subscribe, I'll see you guys next time.